Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look, which is my winter warming makeup look. First things first guys, I'm going to moisturise. This time of year it's so important to really look at your skin and see how it's reacting to the cold weather outside. I have to crank up my moisturiser one level more than I normally do in spring or summer. So the one that I'm using at the moment is uh, Ysterine. Guys, you know I can't say words. It's this one. It's amazing. It's really, really intense. And I also use their night cream as well. Um, so I pop this all over my skin and it really does keep it very hydrated. Um, skin changes so drastically through winter that you really do need to kind of help it. And that will really, really help um, with how your makeup goes on as well. So I'm also going to take a little bit of this. This is the Skin Wrinkle Treatment by Bobbi Brown. It soothes, plumps and repairs around the eye. I think this is amazing you can actually see quite a difference as well i'm just going to kind of pop that on areas that i need a little bit of plumping um you don't need to use too much it's just really subtle kind of things but what it does it, it just repairs those kind of areas you're not going to get rid of your wrinkles completely guys this is not a miracle um but it definitely does help hydrate plump and nourish them so that's really good which is what we this is all we can ask for I'm going to take the Le Mer foundation in buff. Now I'm trying out this foundation. It is quite expensive. It's an expensive brand Le Mer. Um, it's very high end. Um, it's very nourishing. It's very nice. But also I wanted to try. I try and do low end and high end foundations on my own skin. So then I can really give you my honest opinion on them. And then I can also figure out the textures of the foundation. So you don't have to go and get this particular foundation but at the same time if you do want a really good foundation and you do want to spend some money then maybe it'd be worth it for you i'm just going to buff that in using a face expert real techniques brush the thing that i like about this foundation is it's very lightweight this is the soft fluid long wear foundation so and it does last i have um i've been using it for the last couple of days um and it definitely lasts all day you don't need to do too much to it you don't need to touch it up or anything like that um, it's got a really nice texture in it it's not too thick um, so it doesn't feel like you're putting loads and loads on your skin so I'm going to take my trusty favorite concealer the erase eye eraser by Maybelline and I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes take it down a little bit and a little bit on these really really annoying blemishes that don't seem to want to leave me alone just buff it in Right, now on my eyeballs. So I'm gonna use the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. Just a tiny, tiny bit of this one. Cause I really want my eyeshadow to last. And I'm trying some new eyeshadows today. So I'm excited to see how long they last and how well they sit on the skin. Really simple. And that will just make sure that everything stays put. Now it's a toss up between these two palettes, which I'm really liking at the moment. I've got these new Barry M palettes, which are absolutely amazing. This one was called Crown Jewels, is this one. The Crown Jewels, love that. And then this one is, Me sorry, Meteor Storm, which is chrome and metallic eyeshadows. Oh. Um, I'm gonna take this one just because why not? We're gonna go for the metallic-y colors. So what I'm gonna go for first is I'm gonna take this color here, we're gonna go for the kind of pinky tone, and I'm just gonna put that kind of all over my lid to begin with. See how that maps out. Oh, it's nice. Really nice. Then I'm going to take this gorgeous colour here, the bronzy brownie one there. I'm just going to take that a little bit into my crease. So it kind of sits like that in your eye. And then I'm going to take the Lux Crease Brush by Zoeva and I'm just going to blend that out. So I'm going to take a Nanshi Taper Crease sponge, sponge brush, it's got a little knobbly bit, and I'm going to take the dark brownie one underneath as well. I kind of like the, it's more like lilac-y tones actually, I was kind of expecting it to be slightly different, but actually I really like this kind of smudgy lilac-y pinky tone. I really like that, really unusual colours, but really pretty, kind of like moonstone -y, kind of purpley tones, which is actually really nice this time of year, kind of bringing out those lovely plummy autumnal colours. I'm not going to do any liner because what actually what I'm going to do is put a couple of little lashes on, so I'm going to give myself a very light 
coating of mascara, not too much. And then I'm gonna pop some lashes on as well. These are called Baby Wispies, okay? They are absolutely gorgeous. They're super tiny. They look really subtle. Like the other day I was wearing some and a makeup artist friend of mine was like, are you wearing lashes or are those your actual lashes? Which is obviously a really good big compliment from makeup artists because normally we can tell when people are wearing lashes. So, secret to eyelashes. Take it with some tweezers. Take it in the middle. Look down and place it right where you want it. Place it middle first. Make sure it's stuck and then you can take your edges, then take the edge down. You don't want any gap, guys, between your lashes, your lash line and the lashes. Give them a little fiddle. How cute are those though? So natural looking. That's why I love them. Baby demis. Amazing. Then you want to coat another coat of mascara just to bind them all together. So you've got no gaps. So at the moment, I'm going to use um, the Arch Rival Eyebrow Artist by Lottie London. I love this pencil. Um, it's got a really, really fine, fine nib on this side, and then it's got a little spoolie on the end. But it's brilliant, and it's a perfect match. Sometimes my eyebrows' colours are really tricky to find, but this is really good. And I can just draw in areas that I want, so I don't want too much. Um, I'm going to set all of that with a little bit of, fa um, what is this, pure pour de riz, which is a fabric special pour la but, dans la la. basically it's translucent powder, but it's got a bit of a sheen to it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that underneath my eyes, not on my forehead, around my nose. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the contour by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the contour wand, this is her newish one. I've not really used this, so it'll be interesting. I'm just going to take a little bit of that along here. I don't want to contour too much. No, on my nose. Not that that's going to help anything, but you know. One can try. A little bit along here, and then I'm just going to buff it in. actually and then I'm also going to try out the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter as well again guys these are all things that I just haven't had a chance to use yet um, and I always wanted to give them a go so I thought I'd try them with you guys um, you can use another liquid highlighter if you have one or a powdered one if you have one as well it will give you the same effect I just thought if you want to know what this one's like you can see what it's like now that's really nice actually nice texture not too not too much. I love a shimmer brick. This is a Bobbi Brown shimmer brick. Everyone went crazy for them around Christmas time um, years ago and they're still around and it's still one of my favourites. Just take the brush, swill it around. Oh, it just gives such a nice sheen. You don't want to go all over your face, guys, because then you're going to be sheen crazy. Just to give that really gorgeous glow. You can also put it on your eyes as well, which is really nice about the Shimmer Brick. Now I'm going to go back into my palette quickly, just because, for fun. I'm going to take the end one here, which I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite sheeny. And I'm just going to take my finger, my ring finger, and I'm just going to pop that just in the middle. It's got a little bit more glitter effect here in it. And it's got kind of like a two-tony thing going on. I love that. I'm just going to pop that on top. So I'm going to go for quite a neutral lip, I think. Kind of go for a nice wintry, warmery kind of uh, lip. Love this brand. Um, if any of you have seen it, I think you can get it in Marks and Spencers. Uh, it's very matte. Very matte nude. I'm going to team it up with a Bare Minerals lip liner, and this one is in Vibe. I do actually really like that combination. I think the lipstick on its own on my skin tone is a little bit deadening, um, so I definitely need more of a brownie kind of um, lip liner to go over the top. 
Now I think this look does need a little bit of blusher just because I love a blush even though I've put kind of bronzer and contour on I actually do want to go for a little bit of a pinch cheek look. Now don't be scared by bright blushes. I'm actually going to go for this one. You're all going to absolutely go crazy. This is Azalea by MAC. That is bright. But I'm going to use the smallest amount. This looks insane on black skin, by the way, or Asian skin, anything like that, with darker, darker tones. This blusher is incredible. Um, and I found it the other day and I was like, whoa, never going to wear that. Actually, I tried it. It looks amazing. Very small amount. Just going to take my blusher brush and literally apple of the cheek. And I'm talking a couple of pats, apple of the cheek, smile. And I'm literally just touching I don't even need to go back in just touching with it on the apples of my cheeks I mean look how pretty that looks it's, I mean it is bold don't get me wrong but it's not too crazy but I just think that lifts everything a little bit so there you have it guys a really simple winter autumnal cozy makeup look but also with a little bit of glam um, I've experimented with things that I haven't used before and I've also experimented with some of the kind of chrome and metallic colors that are out there at the moment which are really top and trendy this autumn winter um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it um, definitely check out my other videos and also make sure you check out my Instagram Facebook and Twitter for any more gossip or information on me and I will see you very soon are you my little blushing you? Mm. I need blusher. This is not happening without some blush. I love blush.